Dengue is a dreadful viral infection caused by dengue virus. It is a neglected disease and almost globally 100 to 400 million infections occur per year. Major symptoms are headache, high fever, vomiting, muscle and joint pain and skin rashes. There is no specific allopathy medicines against dengue. Only symptomatic treatment is given. Acetaminophen, doxycycline, rivavirin and multivitamin and multimineral formulations are given. Dengue is a predominant mosquito-borne viral disease which has become a global threat in today's world. Dengue is transmitted by the female mosquito Aedes aegypti. The risk of infection of DENV is transmitted mostly in the tropical and subtropical areas of the world. Every year over 3 billion population are at a high risk of dengue infections and it is ever increasing mainly due to the lack of anti-dengue viral specific synthetic drug components. In 2023, 80 countries reported over 5 million dengue cases and more than 5,000 dengue related death. Dengue virus falls under the family Flaviviridae and within the genus Flavivirus, a positive sense single standard RNA virus. The genome of the dengue virus RNA has 5 prime and 3 prime end untranslated region with open reading frame in the middle. Open reading frame encodes a single polypeptide chain, which is the precursor of 10 proteins. After proteolytic cleavage, this polyprotein chain contributes 3 structural proteins as well as 7 non structural proteins. The structural proteins are capsid protein, membrane protein, and envelope protein. And the non structural proteins are NS1, NS2A, NS2B, NS3, NS4A, NS4B, and lastly NS5. The structural protein capsid guards the DNA viral genome from the environment and transports the genome into the host cell. Envelope protein binds with the host cell receptor and membrane protein fused viral and host cell membrane. Under 7 non structural protein, the largest one is NS5 and the second largest one is NS3. NS3 has an N terminal domain with proteolytic activity and a C terminal domain with helicase activity. NS5 has also two domains one is methyl transferase at the N terminal and the other one is RDRP at the C terminal end. To combat dengue, researchers are discovering many potential drugs and inhibitors based on their structure and non structural proteins. Antiviral drugs can disrupt viral entry, RNA replication, and polyprotein cleavage by mimicking the protein function and binding with the active sites of the proteins. In our review, we discussed on total of about 128 potent inhibitors such as AST148, an inhibitor of capsid protein, NITD448, and doxycycline are showing inhibitory activity on envelope protein. MB21, BP13944 can inhibit the function of protease. The helicase activity is inhibited by suramine, misafugin, and many others. Sinifugin, SAR derivatives have some inhibitory activity on MTS. Q63, NITD434, and NITD2. These compounds mainly inhibit the process of replication. Although the mentioned inhibitors are under preclinical trials, however, till date, very few have scored significant effectiveness aiding in very few treatment. No successful discovery has been made in anti-dengue viral medication. We can see that nature is still a very rich source of compounds useful for humanity. Natural medicines are known to be less toxic and having the less resistance issues thereby potentiating patient's immune system. It has been proven that the natural extracts of neem, papaya leaves, orange juice, goat milk and turmeric are effective medicines to combat DNA. Many preventive strategies and awareness programs are publicized by World Health Organization. However, there is no proper vaccine available in the market. There is only one vaccine, dengue vaccine appropriate. Therefore, exploration of various structural components such as envelope, membrane, capsid, and non-structural components such as protease, MTs, and helicase, which are responsible for viral virulence, 
must be explored to design the specific anti dengue viral chemotherapy tests utilizing ligand and structure based drug design simulations the ligand based and structure based models would be used as high throughput screening for further development of new potent congeners mother gives us birth feed us protect us from the dreadful disease our universal mother is nature we have a lot of indian traditional natural resources such as tulsi neem papaya leaves turmeric diloy and get goat milk which are used to combat dengue in this review data on recent publications based on potential inhibitors have been assembled however there are many obstacles in this area and this needs exploration on effective inhibitors uh, the students have done this with extreme sincerity and the outcome is commendable and i must say the topic that was selected by the students that is dengue virus and its inhibitors is very much pertinent to the current challenges of health related issues of our society